I don't think it's a good idea to work, to try to work relationally without knowing what it means and without having a supervisor who is well equipped to supervise you. Um, I, I do think that um, it is a specific way of working. Now, people would say, but listen, TA is relational, uh, person-centered counseling is relational, and all of that is quite true. However, uh, within relational work, we work continuously with the, or you can choose to work with the counter-transference, of course, and, and in, in that field, counter-transference is not always seen in terms of counter-transference. It is often seen in terms of our own subjective experience. So what we think of is the notion of intersubjectivity, how my subjective experience going back to my own past and history plays a role in my relationship in my relationship with the client and how the past of the client can as it were affect my own past and how that actually then affects and furthers and or stops the work between us so what you're talking about is largely unconscious process so your question could be, oh, but listen, how, how do we then ever find out what's happening, for goodness sake, you know? Now, the thing is, we can't. We cannot predict the unconscious. But what we can, of course, do is we can, we can work with what happens between us and the client in retrospect. So things that happen between us and a client, we think about in retrospect. And one uh, thing which uh, a book has come out of e e e even within the TA world is the notion of enactments, of course. And I'm thinking of uh, Val Cunningham's book, which he wrote together with David Mann, called Enactment, um, something about the past, uh, living the past in the present, I think it is. So the advantage of that is, of course, that you get your own involvement as a therapist becomes quite different. Um, we move more towards a two-person psychology rather than a one. The, in, in the ways that we have been trained in TA, with all the respect that we have for our clients and all of that, the focus is on them. Mm. In the relational world, the focus is shared. Now, that does not mean that we start to disclose willy-nilly about ourselves. Uh, we have to be discerning about what it is that we are going to share about our own process in relation to the client. And we need to think about how we do it and, and, the, and the way. And when we do it and how we do it needs to be at all times in the service of the client. Shall I give an example of it? 